<laughs> Cheers, mate. Right, we're going to do some E46 stuff today. Um, I found something that sort of has been bothering me for a while, but I've just been ignoring it because I didn't really care that much. But now I've decided I'm keeping the car, I think I should do it. Anyone who owns or has owned an E46 would probably have suffered with this before. I don't know why, but the inside lights are made out of a different plastic to the outside on the rear and it just seems to fade and look like it's been at the bottom of the sea or something so we're going to strip these off and flat them down and polish them with this guy here <laughs> <laughs> with Aaron's tools because we don't use our own tools so. Aaron has a tool yeah. so the idea is uh, wet and dry but two different grades I just wanted to use stuff that you might find laying around in your garage at home because rather than spend 50 quid on some new lights I thought we'll try and fix them instead. So wet and dry, uh, lacquer and I've got some rubbing compounds and polish. So if you're watching this now, uh, it means it's probably worked because if it hadn't worked I, I probably wouldn't post this video. So. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <coughs> Clink's currently uh, Super depressed man. Yeah, he's yeah, might have spun a shell on the K20 last night. Yeah. So, wait there, Mac and Dale are going to get it rebuilt. So, respray won't exist this year. <laughs> yeah. So, the EG that we were actually planning to film today, um, he got rod knock last night, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 I'm laughing, but it's actually really bad. It's like. He spent ages finding a low mileage engine and a lot of money putting it all together and it's a really nice car and I've been wanting to film it for ages and uh, we finally got a good day with some good weather and stuff and then he went and spun a shell last night so what we're going to do tomorrow instead is pull the engine out of the AG so you will see it but mm -hmm. yeah I guess it all makes content. Uh, I haven't actually took these off before but I'm sure it's really simple I think you just pull the carpet off the inside of the boat and there's like two nuts to take off but it's not that interesting so we'll just speed that up uh, So the interior liner's off uh, the, so they're basically just all speed clips and then there's like two very well hidden screws that look like the carpet and we're just going to take the lights off now. Camo screws, look. Huh? Look at them. Camo. Every A46 in the world does this. Okay, I'm going to start out with some 1500 and go for wet first. Apparently that works. You have to use Evian, otherwise it doesn't work. You can kind of see that they've started to brighten up already, um, but these are scuffed down at the minute. But you mainly want to look for just getting rid of the sort of deeper scratches and make everything look uniform.
eternity later. Right, so they are pretty flat now. Um, they already, even without the lacquer, look better than they did. But the lacquer will definitely make them look better. Uh, we're going to clean them down with some rubbing alcohol. If you if you don't have that, I don't know, just get some because it's cheap. But I'm also going to dry them with a heat gun. And if you don't have a heat gun, obviously you can just leave them to dry. But I'd rather not wait. Right, so now everything is dry and decontaminated. Uh, the alcohol obviously just removes grease and any dirt, and obviously they need to be dry. So we're going to put some lacquer on them now, and we'll start off with the thin coat and then sort of layer it up a little bit. Right, so after a couple of hours of uh, leaving it to dry, we popped out and did some other stuff. Um, I'm actually really surprised. They already look really good. Um, as you can see, the sort of shiny plastic again, which is a good thing. But I've decided I might as well, while I'm here, just hit it with the 2500 again and then polish them, and then I'll put them back in. Uh, so obviously they look quite flat again now, but um, I don't, I'm not sure if you can pick up. Yeah, there's a little, a couple of little fish eyes if this was paint you'd probably care about it but it's not and I think when you polish it you won't be able to tell so no. using the E30 as a table um, yeah so we're going to try and polish it now and see what it comes out like uh, this uh, we don't endorse these products I just had them laying around they're overpriced and not that good Unless you want to sponsor me, then they are good. <laughs> oh, yeah, you are. You're all right. Go down a bit. <laughs> Does it feel nice? It's yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Clink's just left us. I uh, was well. It's getting kind of late now. As I mentioned, we'd been gone for a while, and just after he left, I was polishing the lights, and I thought he'd actually come back. And I turn around, and there's just a fox in the middle of the garage. So it's probably a sign that like nothing's going on in the area, and I've stayed way too late. But after the first stage of polishing, you can see, well, they already look infinitely better than they did, but um, there's just sort of like a few track marks from the buffer and stuff. So I'm going to go over them with some resin polish uh, at a bit higher speed, and then we'll put them back on. I think I will probably get some clips to finish the video tomorrow because daylight's just better to sort of tell the progress of before and after. Right, as promised, it's the next day and I said I'd show you the lights. Um, I'm pretty happy with how they've turned out, to be honest, and I think to be rather than spending like 50 quid, as I mentioned, it's better to try and do some things yourself. It's been a while since I've really painted anything, so I was kind of out of touch. I've painted many a BMX at the side of the street without taking it apart, so I'm well versed. As you can see, um, well, you can see from the reflections, they're definitely much shinier. Uh, before they were very very flat and looked super dull I'm not sure if you can tell in the picture but obviously if you look at the the tail light it's actually like a clear lens with LED lights so it's kind of a bit of a design fault really that this is a reflector so it's always going to look different even if you sort of um, polish them and make them look good or even if you buy new ones to be honest it, like I said it's a it's a bit of a design flaw really but also like I said it's it's not the biggest deal in the world and it's not it's not something that affects the car really so I'm not super bothered about it but I just think 
touching up little bits like this help to sort of keep the car looking fresh. The E46 I think is a really good design and it's definitely stood the test of time. I think it's still a good looking car. Um, I'd say so with all of the M3s to be honest, the E30, the E36, the E46, I think they've all really stood the test of time and still look good. So I think there's maybe a couple of other little bits I can do, um, like the plastics. Uh, kind of devs sort of grade a little bit so maybe I'll try and find some good detailing products to do that um, but I'm not really a super sort of detailing freak type of person I just enjoy driving the car more than anything really so I'm gonna get on with that and I'm gonna head across as I mentioned to Clinks right now and we're gonna pull the engine out the car so stay tuned for that video